the lightning that shouldn't exist. Picture this. You're watching a thunderstorm when suddenly, a glowing orb the size of a football floats through your kitchen wall, hovers for 30 seconds, then vanishes with a loud pop and the smell of burnt sulfur. You've just witnessed ball lightning, one of nature's most baffling phenomena. For centuries, people dismissed these reports as hallucinations or folklore. But in 2012, Chinese scientists captured the first ever spectrum of natural ball lightning on the Tibetan plateau by chance. What they found was extraordinary. A five meter wide sphere traveling at 8.6 meters per second, glowing with the light of vaporized silicon, calcium, and iron. These mysterious orbs have been recorded floating through aircraft cabins, rolling down church aisles, and even passing through solid walls without leaving a mark. Some explode with the force of cannon fire. Others simply fade away like dying embers. The strangest part? We still don't fully understand how they form. The leading theory suggests lightning strikes vaporize silicon in soil, creating floating aerosols that burn as they recombine with oxygen. Others propose they're plasma bubbles trapped by microwave radiation or even exotic states of matter called Rydberg clusters. But here's what makes ball lightning truly extraordinary. Despite appearing in accounts from medieval monks to Russian czars, from World War II pilots to modern airline passengers, science has barely scratched the surface of this phenomenon. In our age of smartphones and satellites, ball lightning remains nature's most elusive light show, a glowing reminder that our planet still holds secrets we're only beginning to unlock.